Hey guys, it's Kelly and um as you can tell by the video doing some crafts. This is stuff I've done before. I shouldn't say too. I've seen the comment too from my video I posted last night. A lot of you guys are confused. I'm not a hater of Jesse. I know you guys think that because I hate on Soy Fi, which is not true. Yes, as you can see too, I have a psych series novel right there. I'm trying to point in the camera, but it's hard. Right there, you can see. I talk, but you guys can see in the back right there. Well, kind of, hold on, yeah, right there. Um, but anyways, just because I don't like his app, that doesn't mean I don't like Jesse. Remember that, guys. You can like a person, but not like what they do. Just like family. You know? You cannot like something a family member does, but you still love your family member. So I just want to put that out there. And, um, I want to say, too, the post that uh, um, YouTube commented on, if you guys are wondering. Um, now, I like kind of. I posted it on this um, Storyfire feed, you know, so if you go to my post section on Storyfire and you look at a post about the this track I put in there, you can see that's, that's where the um, YouTube commented. Now, I know some a person said that it may not be actual YouTube. I mean, I don't know, like, if you read some of it, like, it may not be the real Susan or Jensky, but if you just look at who follow them, it's like, um, Twitch and Spotify, they put on accounts, and yes, they're not all, um, verified, but... Julia Riley, she has an account and she's not verified on, on there, so I mean, you know, that doesn't mean anything. You might have to go through a process to get verified, and who knows if they want to verify YouTube, because that's like a, comp a competing thing. But I'm just saying, who knows? It could be real, it could be fake. To me, it seems, I don't know, I can kind of see where it could be fake if you look at some of the posts, but at the same time, it's like, I don't know. Uh. Anyway, so, Archie Crab, these are things I've made in the past. So these are things where I take off um, brand things like from wrappers and I made them into, I don't know what I call them, but. So what I do is I cut them out. So this is a pick out wrapper. You can hear like the sound sounds hard. I put on a piece of paper I glue in. Just, you know, all you need is regular Elmer's glue. And then I put a layer of glue on top first to kind of give me more like solid. Then I have this, this, Spencer's off topic, Coach Coward Dog, Victoria's Secret one. Cheese it, a Reese's, a Rick and Morty, a Goldfish. Um, but I even have a freaking Pringle. But for these ones that I'm showing you today, well, I'm going to show you at least one. This one, as you can see, with the pencil, like right there, I kind of marked out where I'm going to cut it. Now, you might be wondering, Kelly, why are you using those scissors? These are um, scissors you get in you know, a nail filing kit. If you have a nail filing kit, it comes with them. Like two, three clippers, you know, nail clippers, cuticle cutters sometimes. You know, it comes with that stuff. So, I don't know what you, technically you use these for in a nail filing, filing kit. But what I use these for is to cut paper and stuff. Because, as you can see, I mean, it kind of, yes, it curves. So, it's such, like, good, sharp scissors. And it would cut straight. So, it makes things easier to cut. Cause, you know, especially for, like, because look at, like, these scissors... As you can see, they don't close away unless I do that. They're kid scissors either. Kid scissors, you don't kind of stuff. I have another kind of blue pair of scissors that are similar. But yeah, guys, go subscribe to me on Storyfire. I know some of you are relitted. Um, I also have these scissors. Which, I mean, they're a bit better, not bad, but I don't know. I just feel like they cut so good too. These scissors, they're so sharp. Anyways, um, I have put. I posted a post on my story for my YouTube link. Um, because for some reason it won't let me post it in. Well, I actually probably could have posted it. No, it wouldn't let me post in the bio of Storyfire. But, anyways, um, yeah, check out my story file. Like I said, I know I said I hate it. That's the case. So, yeah. All you need is a sale box or whatever brand you want. Um, but yeah, I'm not a hater of Jesse. I just don't like his app. That doesn't mean I don't like Jesse, okay? I want you guys to keep that in mind, okay? I don't know how, I don't know why you guys are so confused enough. I don't have an issue with Jesse. I just have an issue with his app. Because it's never going to take out YouTube. You know, the first thing you commented that on my diss track I posted on Storyfire. Don't know if you're watching this or not. If you are, hey. It's, and I don't understand another random tangent. Um, as I'm just cutting this out, as you can see. Why do people hate on Twitter? Like, this person on the things and YouTube's trash and Twitter's trash. I, I don't understand that. What's wrong with Twitter? Like, am I missing something about Twitter? Because the last time I checked Twitter, I, li uh, I like Twitter. Twitter's not bad. Yes, I know it has drama, but me, you're going to get that on any social media platform. 
you know. I'm sure it's, it's not going to be long until StoryFi starts to have drama. I mean, you know, it's a small platform now, but as it continues growing, it's more and more people. I mean, come on, guys. And I, I thought Twitter was always good, so I don't know why you have a problem with Twitter. But I read Team YouTube when StoryFi posted about Ricky. Um, I forgot his last name, but you know, he thought he's on StoryFi now. He has, um, I don't know what he has. My time for bathroom, because he has to like be in a wheelchair. I never watched his videos, so I'm not gonna really say too much on him, because you know I'm not trying to be disrespectful to him. I just I know I feel bad for him, you know, because he has to suck. But I'm sure like he's used to doing this stuff, but whatever. Enough about that. Um, saying like he's coming, that he's trading, he's coming after him. Um. Also, I saw on so if I um other people on like a channel called Exploring with Josh apparently on so if I now and Evan. Evans, the dude you see with Logan Paul in his videos. If you watch Logan Paul, I mean, I'm, you have to know who he says, regardless if you watch Logan Paul or not. He, he apparently has story for which is shocking to me. But again, a lot of these people don't have many subscribers, you know? I think the, the only person that's on story for now that has the most subscribers on YouTube is probably Keemstar with like 5 million. Well, actually, in um, Neck Nobody, he did, which is, you know, Sky does Minecraft. He had. The 12 million, you know, on his guy does Minecraft, but he doesn't do it anymore, so. I mean, I guess you can say he kind of counts, but, like, I don't know. Well, I, I just don't get it. StoryFi is not that great of an app. I don't think it's better than YouTube. I do not think, um, that, um, Twitter is shit. I love Twitter. is actually, like, one of my favorite social media platforms. For those of you who didn't know that about me. I just like it. I just feel like it's a great way. You know, see what people are saying and stuff, and I don't know, great to get information on things. And there'd be drama, but again, guys, just drama and everything. So, okay, so I just got off to kind of, kind of rough around the edges. So, what I would probably want to do is glue this just to make it, to support and make it stronger. But, um, yeah, what we can do is kind of just file out the sides. I don't have much glue left, so we're gonna see what we can do. Um, where's the brush I used to scoop out the glue? But yeah, guys, I don't think Starfire is gonna succeed. I'm surprised Evan's on there. Um, like I said, he's doing with Logan Paul. New used to Logan Paul fair lives from you know, friends. You know, I've been like live to that get together since uh, online. So yeah, I'm surprised he has it. I mean, I, I don't know. It it does his TikTok or just a fan TikTok. Cause I can't imagine him having TikTok, so I don't know if that's the real ham, or just like a fan page. Cause it's like, cause his name is like Evan the Dwarf. Like the name and profile under just seemed like a name he wouldn't actually do. But who knows? Exploring with Josh or playing is down there. I mean, I don't think he was verified either, but who knows? Uh, but yeah, check. I mean, you know. But also, I think about story parts. That's how I am. Um, now I had this big thing for Nick's cards that I used for this one. Because, you know, they're, like, thick, they end the index cards, but, um, I don't know where they went to. I don't know the last time I've even seen in the index cards. But, yeah. Um, do I have something else? Sorry, guys. I, I should have prepared this. I wasn't really, like, thinking too much ahead, but... Craster Kelly! <laughs> I just hit myself in the chest with that, you guys couldn't see. I moved the, the thing off my desk and I shut it off and it hit me. Okay. Uh, okay, so what am I gonna use? I don't know what I'm gonna use. I mean, I have like notebook paper, but I wanted something a bit stronger. I mean, can you use it as a temporary thing? And I have to find like something stronger. But anyway, so take the paper. What you would want to do is glue this on here, and then you're gonna cut. You're gonna cut around it. We can kind of get this on here now. Okay, so hopefully I can cut this pretty good. Like I said, it's just kind of like a. Where did I put the scissors? So with these scissors, you know how like when you cut it kind of leaves that weird like 
what's it called you know on the edge of the paper like when you cut with normal scissors like that you like boom boom and leaves that kind of ruffled edge i know these scissors are fine it doesn't leave the ruffled edge i don't know right here is a color like this and i'll take one out if there's any parts hang off then i'll, I'll trim it you know but yeah i just you know try and cut as best i could now the edge as I can get. I don't know, I've done this for a while. I don't know what made me start doing this. I just thought it'd be a cool thing because you can use them for like, you can use these for like a decoration on stuff or, you know, I don't know. Especially if it's a, you know, brand that you really like. You can make one of these. And, I don't know, this is cool too. So yeah. Guys, subscribe. I want to continue to go on YouTube. You know what I mean? Because I love doing this. This is one of my favorite things to do. And yes, you know, another person was commenting to me stuff like, like, you didn't understand, like, if I don't like it when I post. Well, I mean, the thing is with Starfire, I don't like kind of the side of it for video uploading, how it's becoming um, YouTube and all that. I just, I, I prefer the side of YouTube to do with storytelling and stuff like that. You know? Like, if that makes sense. But I just want you guys to know I'm not a hater. I do love Jesse. You know, I follow him on YouTube. I follow I do watch his videos on Storyfire and stuff. Okay, like this glue glick somehow is all dried up. The f actual fuck. Yeah. Like, look at that. Sh I don't know. Thank you. Why do I have that song stuck in my head? I don't listen to that song. I've been like really obsessed with watching TikToks. Like, I just go on a TikTok app and just watch all the videos that pop up. Like, it's crazy. <laughs> What's so weird? I used to like not. At first, I was like against TikTok. Like, we're not against it, but I didn't really like like it. But I don't know what changed me that got me into TikTok. But TikTok is actually kind of cool, guys. You should look into it. I mean, even if you really don't, like, I don't post much. Right? It's watched stuff. I mean, they're funny TikTok. They honestly do remind me of Vine, which is crazy. Okay, just, do you guys know how to fix glue that's all like dried up and ish? If you guys know like a tip for that, let me know. Like I'm just getting, look, look at that, it's just chunky and I have to like spread it with the stick. And I know guys, I'm using a freaking stick that I use to like dye people's hair. But it's like the only long enough stick I have to ever get the glue for like the bottom and stuff. Because that's where like the good glue used to be. But, okay. Ain't gonna cook in all day. See, I don't know. You guys should go investigate this Susan Wojcicki in the YouTube page on Storyfy yourself and make an assessment. I mean, I don't know. I'm not saying like there definitely is YouTube, but I mean, I don't know. The way they talking on that page, it seems like it would be YouTube. Because like, what would a random person pretend to be YouTube get out of that on Storyfy, you know? What I mean? Like, I don't know. Maybe, like I said, I'm the one overthinking it, but I just don't see why someone would do that. Like, take the time to do it. I don't know. I don't know. And now that YouTube account on Showfed, they have a lot of stuff talking about um, MySpace, I guess. I don't know. Apparently, it seems like that's coming back. Which, I don't... I never had MySpace. I don't really know what it is too much. I just know it's like Facebook. But I never had one because I was, that was like too young for me, you know. You know what I'm saying? Like, when I was out, I was too young. So. I don't know why that would be coming back. But, okay. Anywho, guys. So I just take a forever. Looks like I'm going to do something. I'm like. Like, I, just, I don't, I just don't care how people are getting sucked into this bullshit about stuff like, oh, it's so great, it's gonna be next to YouTube. Like, come on. You know, people are not dumb here. You know, like, you guys are smarter than that. You know the truth, guys. Nothing can take down YouTube. You know? Like, don't be ignorant. You know what I'm saying? Like. 
because if it is just someone who's doing it, it's just someone who obviously hates Story Fire too. No, like I don't know. Also, guys, I forgot to mention yesterday's video. I put in this in the diss track. I added the line about how on um, November twenty first, twenty twenty one, how it's coming to an end. Because if you watch the um my art uh, or mag writing video, you guys will know what I'm talking about. But if you guys have any tips that I can do to kind of help dry the blue, let me know. Anyway, so. Come on, we just need a little bit more. Cooperate with me, Gore. I feel like this is gonna end up snapping in half. Like, I don't know how this glue is dried up. Like, tell me how glue dries up. I know this we have another Emily's glue in the thing, but I don't want to. Using it up. But yeah, like, I don't know. But yeah, I did put that little thing because I thought it would be interesting if like, they see it, people see it, people are gonna be questioning oh, what's gonna happen on that day. But I did get a lot of um views on that, you can call it, you know. A lot of people did look at it, I guess, so. Who knows, maybe, but no one has said anything about that in the comments, but. And I do like comments on there, guys, so. Oh, I almost got that one. I need tweezers. I wish I had tweezers in here, because. you guys think in the comments and um uh, if you guys um but yeah those you in the comments clearly don't understand how this can work you can like someone and not like stuff they do that's how it is with jesse i love jesse i just don't like his app okay so just keep that in mind guys because i also don't like his app doesn't mean i can't like jesse okay i'm about to give up on this school but pretty much i have some blue on here have some for the purpose of the video. And now it's not even, ah, now the glue's all dried up on the paper. But pretty much, you put the glue on here, let it dry, you trim it. You know, it's supposed to be like, you know, index card type of paper, construction paper. You have a thing. I also have these things, which are, oh, sorry, I'm blocking the whole camera made out of freaking plastic cups. It's literally, you, if you just slit the top of a plastic cup, it's so easy to like peel into pieces. Look, look, this is, um, you can kind of see in the bottom, this is a star press. You can see though, that's a, a um, which one? You can see. Cup, like look at like, see what I mean, a cup, it's so easy to peel. I just keep it in here. And this um, old makeup wipes thing. Oh. Like I just think these are so cool because you can like put them on things. Look, there's an old like tape dispenser thing. I don't know, like, cause I'm a courage fan, so I can, you know, you can always put these on like, you know, a notebook for school. Like, make these for school, put them, glue them on your notebook. Have a cool notebook for your school year. Like maybe like we try to do like one, maybe candy or, and then one cereal for a bunch of cereals. One maybe like with TV show brands. One with storage brand for each subject. Math can be maybe like, you know, snacks. Now there can be candy, you know, so that could be a cool thing. No, I have this too, it's alright. These do bend if you don't, you know. I try to keep them flat, but. As you can see too, like the glues come up. But, you know, at the end of the day, it's just ammo glue. Or these. So I just do like a bunch of little random craft things. If you guys wanna see it, you know, let me know in the comments. Yeah. I don't know if these are supposed to be just kind of like 
things I made that I come out like that. I don't know, it's cool like little design things, I don't know. If you if you're someone who like likes artistic stuff, you know, try something out, you know, like I like, can't, yeah, you know, got yeah. for a candy notebook, yeah, these kind of candy for like a subject and then then look like a few stars here you can do for that. Then I got some snacks right here, some snack brands for like one notebook. And then TV shows. So yeah, I don't know, I just think it's cool. Maybe you guys can consider it doing it or like think about doing it. But yeah. That's the point of it. Doesn't wanna work, but you guys get the idea of how it works. And then you know, this one would be a Fruit Loops. I almost said Flamingo for some reason. But yeah, I'm just gonna keep this here for now with the other two. I have an Apple Jacks and a Frosted Flakes because I know I really like Apple Jacks and stuff. But yeah, you know, this is like easy. All you can do it could take you all of five minutes and you just let them dry and you have stuff like say, can you go on your notebook and do cereal brands, you know, like I said, stores, you know, like those stores things that get off from like the tags off, like you know, when you buy at the store, they have those tags you rip off and use for that. You know, same with the Rick and Morty and Coach Cali Dog. So you know, I just get the mini sale boxes that we had that I've eaten uh, over the last couple of days. And make them into that. So, I don't know, it's something I like to do. Same with the candy. I just use candy wrappers there again. You know, you cut them out to how you want them. Make it and it's, it's fun crafting. And I don't know, it could be a cool like artistic thing. Or what you can do to get a bunch of them. Make it like, I don't know, I'll put up gloom and a bunch of people paste of paper, put them in a frame, like put them in your room, I don't know, art pieces. I don't know, it's just like cool, something different to do, you know, for your room, or like for school. I think it would be, cool, be a cool school thing, then you'd be easy to find a little map, okay, candy wrapper, you know, you can take out the notebook that has a bunch of candy wrappers on the front of it. I don't know, you can glue it, do however you want with it. Um, and yeah. So yeah, Thoughts and Crafts of Kelly kind of gone wrong a bit. Um, but yeah. That's what it is, guys. Love you so much. Follow me on my socials. Follow um, Colin and stuff. Subscribe to Josh. Subscribe to Richmond. Hashtag AGP. Subscribe to Chad Sullivan. I hope I clarified things for you guys in the comments. And if you're over here from Storyfire, you guys' comments on Storyfire. The only reason I post on Storyfire is because I like that part of Storyfire for posting or for storytelling. But this is just a nail file, guys. But yeah. If for those who you're wondering why I post on you. But yeah, I hope I clarified stuff for you. I love you so much. If you have any more questions about it, let me know. Hope you enjoyed this art and crafts video. Attempt at an art and crafts video. Anyways, I, I love you guys so much. And I will see you in the next video.